Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna do straw heatless curls. Now, before you go to my comments to yell at me for using straws, it is these, oh, it is these right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they are plasticless straws. So I found these off of Amazon. It says the main material in these is modified cornstarch and polyactic acid. I just wanna show you guys these real quick because they literally look like plastic straws, but they're not. So there are 200 in here. I wanna say I paid like 10 or 11 bucks for them, but this is what they look like. It bends like a straw, it looks like a straw, but it's plastic list. This is a really cool alternative. I'm so excited to try these, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna wet my hair. I'm not gonna use anything special. I want my hair to be like, 10% wet. So 90% dry. I don't want it to be too wet because then your hair doesn't dry right and it just gets crimpy and we don't want that. So just spritz it a little bit with water. So first method I tried was just wrapping my hair halfway down the straw and then you'll see it, it leaves me with like another half that I can bend over where I just wrapped. So right here. Um, Here's what it looks like and then I just bent the other half down but my hair would not stay on this. So I tried another way so I left a little bit of room at the top for the straw and then I just wrapped my hair normally. As I was wrapping it I took my other hand and just held on to the strands as I was wrapping it and this helped make it really secure so my hair wasn't going to fall off or pop off the straw. And then once I wrapped it all I just took the ends and then just folded them up towards each other and then tied it off with a hair tie. And I did this method all the way around my head and these curls were not budging. They were nice and tight up against my head. I look freaking ridiculous, but this, <laughs> this took me so long. This took me an hour to put all these in my hair. So this is what they look like right now. I don't like some of these long pieces, so I'm gonna cut them with scissors. Do not cut your hair. Look in a mirror, make sure there's no hair before you cut, if you cut. Okay, that's good for me. So now I'm gonna do a 360, show you guys what these look like. I, mi I missed a piece, didn't I? I'm, I'm gonna get on that. Okay guys, it is the next day. These were not the most comfortable to sleep in, not even gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, 10 being most comfortable, I would give these a five and a half. So, little warning for you. Um, they, these might just be like a good once in a while type of curls, not every week or anything, unless you're up for that. So these curls, spoiler alert, they turn out gorgeous. If I know with the summer, the humidity, it really messes with our hair. There's a spray from Color Wow. I'll put it in my description box. It is amazing. It's specifically for humidity and it works it's crazy um you can google all about it and see the reviews on it but it's so good but look how awesome these curls look i honestly wasn't surprised i had a feeling they would look good but not this good okay it feels so good to get all these out of my hair and this is what it looks like right now it is so curly like these are the type of curls that would last two three days on me so I'm super excited about these. Obviously, we're not gonna keep them like this, um, so we need to kinda pinch and pull them apart. But before I do that, I'm just gonna count how many straws I actually used. So here's all of them, and surprisingly, I only used 17. It felt like more than that. You can see it did pull on some hair, but not too bad. So now we are gonna just take each curl and just pull it apart. Doing this makes such a difference, you'll see in a second you have to do this step or your curls will not look as good. Uh, make sure you do this for every single curl, every single ringlet. Okay, do you see the difference? So here is this side versus this side. Look how flat this is. Look how just fluffy and gorgeous this side is. <gasps> I'm obsessed. And all I used was water before I wrapped these. These are not the kind of curls we wanna brush with a brush, we don't wanna brush them really with our fingers. Um, we want to keep them nice and kind of intact. So at this point you could definitely use like a half inch wand like this one. Um, if you had any spots to touch up, any ends to kind of touch up, um, 
I would recommend a half inch wand. I will link all my favorite ones in my description box. So this one's causing me a little bit of headache, a little bit of trouble. So I'm gonna to touch this one up with an iron real quick. Now I'm just gonna use a Paul Mitchell serum. Just gonna put it through the curls. As much as much as a pain as it was to put them in, as much sleep as I didn't get, they're, they're worth it. I think these turned out so beautiful. I just love how they look. Um, would love to hear your feedback. If you've tried straw curls, um, let me know. So let me know what you guys think of these curls in the comments below. Will you give them a try? I would definitely do it again. As much as a pain in the butt it was, these curls are just freaking gorgeous. So, obsessed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!